Hi, Dr. Sheehan. Thanks so much for meeting with me to talk about safe sleep. I'm expecting my first baby, so I have a lot of questions about how to keep her safe. Oh, congratulations, Sheila. Um, I have a lot to share with you. Safe sleep is simple, but it's critically important. 3,500 infants each year die from a sleep-related death. To start, I recommend my patients follow the ABCs of safe sleep. A is the, for the baby to sleep alone in a bare sleep area. B is for the baby to sleep on his back um, during the night and during naps. And C is for the baby to be in a crib, play yard, or bassinet that meets a federal safety standard. The ABCs of sleep, that's easy enough to remember. What about crib bumper pads? They make the crib look so cute. Crib bumpers and other soft bedding have been linked to suffocation. The baby's sleep area should be clear of pillows, blankets, and other products. Remember, the A stands for alone. And remember, kids' principles of safe sleep. A baby sleeps safest in a crib, play yard, or bassinet that hasn't been recalled and meets the federal standard. The only product in a crib should be a tight-fitting mattress with a fitted sheet. The baby should be placed on their back and wear footed pajamas or wearable blankets if needed for warmth. What you can do is to go to the Consumer Product Safety Commission website or cpsc.gov to see if your crib has been recalled or any other children's product. Thanks, Dr. Shan. I'll make sure to share this information with my partner and anybody else who's caring for my baby. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. We all need to work together to keep our children safe. If you encounter a dangerous product, report it at saferproducts.gov. You can learn more about Kids in Danger at our website, kidsindanger.org. Follow us on social media for important safety tips and updates. Thanks for watching.